You are the youngest head coach in major college football until 2008. Who got hired that was younger than you? P.J. Fleck. No, before that. Jeff Brown. No, not just in the Big Ten, all of major oh. college football in 08. 08, this person got hired. I don't know, it's a long time ago, who? Tennessee's head coach. Oh, Lane Kiffin. Yeah. Were you hazed when you became the youngest head coach? Did, you know? I just listened. Think about that room. Carr, of coaches. Alvarez, Tressel, Paterno, <laughs> yeah. Tiller. You want me to keep going? There were greats back then. Yeah, and then there was like me and D'Antonio. <laughs> We were just, just listening. Like, Hi. Just happy to be here. Yeah. Give me a name of someone in your phone that would impress me. Uh, Kenny Chesney. Okay. How'd you meet him? That's private. <laughs> Did you guys date or something? I mean, no, what's the... no. We, we have a mutual friend. Oh, okay. And, you know, we, we, we played a school that he's proud of in a bowl game. Okay. And um, the rest is kind of history. You ever go see him? I'll be there Saturday. Really? Backstage pass? I'm not going to talk about that. Oh, man, you are a tough nut to crack. I'm going to have fun. I'll just put it to you that way. All right. Good, clean American fun, by the way. <laughs> Safe. Drinking Safe. water. I'll be carrying a pirate Home by curfew. Hell no. How many first pitches have you thrown out in your life? I believe somewhere around 20. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. All at uh, Wrigley or Comiskey? Yeah, that. Uh, I've thrown out a couple at Northwestern. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How many more strikes? I would... Venture to guess five to ten. <laughs> of the 20? Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's a like small strike zone. It's like going to the Hawks game. I've probably hit the net half, right. which is embarrassing. <laughs> but uh, I've never bounced a ball. Important. And I've never thrown the ball over the catcher. You never go to the top of the mound. Oh, I did. Yeah, big mistake. I threw a strike, though. Yeah, well, I don't believe that. I would tell you when you edit this, can I'll I... Tell you, I'll tell you the story. So nervous about okay. this. And I'm about to walk out there, and, and Gene Honda's saying my name, and this little old lady just goes, aim high. And I was like, what? All I'm thinking is, like, aim high, aim high. And it was, like, in my windup for the mountain. And, like, the last second, I was like, aim high. And I aimed high, and it was, like, a, a low to middle strike. And if I didn't aim high, it would have been in the dirt. I love how much of a basketball fan you are mm -hmm. for Northwestern. Who scored the most points in Northwestern's men's basketball history? Uh, Billy, Billy McKinnon. More recent. Someone broke it in the last few years. Somebody wrote, broke it in the last few years, and I should know that. Very simple first name, unique last name. Uh, John Sherna? Yes! Yeah. John Sherna. Yeah. What high school did John Sherna attend? He's a Western Burbs kid. Ooh, uh, impressive! Is, is he Glenbard West? Yes! Yeah. yeah. You don't even recruit How do you know that? He's a damn good basketball player. Whew. He's an all-time leading scorer in Northwestern history. Who is... <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Who who is a very important person, very important, also went to John Sherna's high school. You're talking about Justin Jackson? No. You? You? Went to South. you? Oh, me? Yeah, well, <laughs> I, you said important, so that's why I guess you second. I know it was a loaded question, but I figured I'd crush your ego. I mean, nobody else does, so somebody has to. I think, I think we're I mean, done. the steam coming out of your ear right now towards me is just, I think it's like I'm getting a facial. I think yeah. we're done. You can, you can just stop talking and we're...